Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Inform Player Review with me, your boy FIFA 1 HD. We are going to be looking at the 80 rated Jean Paul Batias. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions on this incredible Inform or FIFA 16 in general, then leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. So, right, jumping right into his stats, and as you can see, he is extremely quick. Great acceleration, decent sprint speed, and really high agility. His strength is somewhat lacking, but his attack positioning is quite good, and vision not too bad either. Ball control, very, very nice indeed. Great curve. Dribbling's not too bad there at 83. But very nice finishing for a right midfielder there at 81. And decent long shots at 84. Shot power isn't too bad either. Short passing not too bad either as well. But his tackling and his long range passing do leave somewhat to be desired. Volleys aren't too bad there at 73. He does come with 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot which is always good. And really nice work rates there at medium medium. Also comes with a couple of traits and specialities. As you can see acrobat. Injury prone, which nobody wants, and flair. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on John Paul Batias were that he was a very useful player for a very cheap price. I mean, you might struggle to get him into into teams, but you know, obviously with his Netherlands connections there, you will be able to get him into it a little bit more than maybe other Basel players that are available. He's a really good player, you know, he's full of pace, got great acceleration, great sprint speed, so he gets off the mark very, very quickly, and he's got enough sprint speed to back it up and really keep going. He's a very agile player as well, which really helps with his sort of speed and his jinking with his dribbling, which on the whole is okay. I mean, 82 overall isn't brilliant, and that really is sort of, you know, about right. That's how, how it sort of feels, you know, he's dribbling in game like 83, 80 for ball control, etc., but, you know, with his agility and with the, the pace that he has, it's quite easy to just jink inside and, and to do a few nice dribbles here and there. You know, he's not going to be the best player you've used in that regard, but it's quite a useful bit to his arsenal that he does have. The best bit is definitely his shooting. When it comes to finishing, this guy is very, very good, and he also has really decent long shots. The shot power is okay, you know, at around 78, you know, it's not too bad. But long shots, very decent, very nice. You'll always get them on target. It may not always go in, but you'll always get them on target. A couple of times I hit a really nice long shot, hit the post or a good save from the keeper, but then I was able to follow it up with my other players and then score a really easy goal. So definitely would recommend taking a good pop shot with him because he definitely can do it. Although if you can get closer to goal, this guy is very lethal when it comes to those one-on-one -on -one chances. And with his pace, it's quite easy to get him in behind. He makes good runs. He, you know, he doesn't always just stick to the wing. I would recommend playing him at sort of right wing, right forward, because crossing ability and his passing is just okay. It's not terrible, but it's not brilliant either. You know, he can swing a ball in here and there, but it's nothing to really brag home about. So when you have got the ball with him, if you are on a wing, I would look to get inside and maybe even play a one-two or just dribble your way into the box and then get a shot off. That's what I did most of the time. Seemed to work pretty well. And overall, for what is a very discard price sort of uh, in form that's had a really big jump, I mean, his standard goal card, which is an improved card anyway, is 75 and this is 80. So there's a massive gap from, from his normal card to this, which is insane. So it's definitely a really good card. And if you've liked his normal card, you'll love this one. It's way better. Really nice overall with lots of good sort of areas for where you would play him and how you would play him. Uh, defensively, obviously, he doesn't really have that much. And he doesn't have much in terms of sort of strength or anything like that. You know, he is quite a weak player. So he will get muscled off the ball from time to time. But overall, I think with his finishing, with his pace and with his, you know, decent dribbling and OK passing for the price, you know, going around sort of 12,000, 12, 13,000, I think he's a very good in form, well worth picking up. So I've had to give him an 8 out of 10 because he's so cheap. You will struggle to fit him into teams, which is a bit of an annoyance. But overall, a very good player to use nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe and peace. Oh my god, you've got a legend! Have I? I've got to! <laughs> I have no idea, am I really? Oh, Are any of these? Who is this guy? This kind of looks interesting. Oh! Stop with this!
this card looks interesting, go to the fucking front. 